Hey everyone, my name is Brian. I am a 21 year old entrepreneur living in the United States, hashtag blessed, and these are the three books that changed my life. Let's go! Now, before we get started, I wanna tell you guys a little bit about my background as an entrepreneur. I never intended to go the entrepreneur route. If any of you guys are interested in entrepreneurship or financial abundance or self-improvement, you might have heard of The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss, The Rich Dad, Poor Dad by The Guy That Looks Like Me, and um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So. These are the three books and I'm just going to do my little experience on them and my own opinions on them. So I actually started out with a four hour work week and a little disclaimer here, I've actually never read this book, but pause, I listened to the audio book. Okay. So when I first started guys, I've never read a book in my life. A book never was appealing to me because when I went to school, I hated books. I got PTSD from Shakespeare and Macbeth and English 101 and English 102 class. I hate books, you guys, but let me tell you, not anymore. I used to hate books until I started reading the right kind of books. I always thought books were just the most disgusting thing in the world because you're forced to read something that you don't want to read and that's going to naturally incline people to stay away from books. And I really feel like this is the reason why books are just so unpopular nowadays. It's because we force kids to fucking read books when they don't want to, they don't care about any of the content in them. We're forcing the generation of kids to hate books, literally. So I, I was one of them. I hated school. I hated books. I hated sitting in class thinking about what the hell am I learning about? I, why do I need to learn about the Pythagorean theorem? This does not, this doesn't mean anything to me. This book always kept getting recommended by entrepreneurs. If you ever follow those Instagram pages where they're like, the books you need to read, this is always in there. And this got my foot in the door, you guys. This got my foot in the door about what even entrepreneurship is. And if you guys seen in my hashtag sometimes, I use hashtag new rich. And this is a concept that the book actually talks about. It talks about entrepreneurship as a digital nomad, which means you can literally do work from anywhere in the world. and. It really inspired me and it got my foot in the door. This is what really, really planted the fucking seed in my brain to kind of start a business and to get where I am. If you guys haven't read any books at all, don't you don't have to go and, and go crazy with a book like this. What I did literally was listen to the audiobook and every time I would commute to work, I would listen to it and commute was about 45 minutes to an hour drive and I would always listen to it. I would listen to it sometimes while I'm working, I would listen to it on the way back and I would listen to this when I'm going out for a walk or even when I'm at the gym. I listen to audiobooks like crazy because I have PTSD from books. Uh, once I realized and I finished the audiobook how good this was, I just ordered it off Amazon anyways to have like a physical remembrance of it and during the audiobook, the downside of audio stuff is you can't take notes in it. If I hear something once, then I'm uh, like, it's in, I got to process it, I got to hope to remember it. The beautiful thing about books is you can take notes and always go back. And that's kind of what I did with Think and Grow Rich. So that was a four hour work week. This book basically kind of goes over the overview of um, entrepreneurship. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Escape nine to five, live anywhere and join the new rich. Um, really motivated me, really good book and a lot of content. I don't think it's too much, but I don't think it's it's a little bit. I think it was just the perfect amount for me to get started. Now you guys, this is the second book that I actually started. And this is kind of funny. So Rich Dad, Poor Dad, they sell this on Amazon, but they sell like a little ass book. And my friend Javier, he actually got like the little book. And it's like, it, it was literally like one of those Twitter memes. Like I ordered a book off Amazon and this came in the mail. Boop. So you guys, when you order this, make sure you get the correct version. There's like a really cheap one with um, Rob Kiyosaki, but this is kind of like an entrepreneur's staple book. It is so good because it kind of tells you the different perspectives of saving money and comparison to making money and being rich. And my guys, my parents grew up poor and I related with this book so much in terms of mindset, in terms of how you think. Or this book put my foot in the door. And this really started to materialize things for me and it really started to motivate me on a daily basis. It got me really fired up to start something, to do something, and to make a change. During the middle of this book, that's when I really started to get heavily, heavily into uh, finding a business that'll work for me. So, guys, third book I would have to recommend to you guys is Think and Grow Rich. This book did more, has influenced my life more than anything. I. I've marked down so many things in here and um, 
I've highlighted things, I've gone back, I've literally written notes on it because this book has influenced my life so, so, so. Don't come on. No, it influenced my life so much. I actually heard of a lot of principles that I've never heard of before in my entire life. And some of those things are like creative imagination, um, transmuting your desires into physical objects. And even at the end of the book, I don't want to spoil anything too bad. He, he talks about something really crazy about envisioning his mentors and, and stuff like that, guys. It is an amazing book. And out of all of these three, they have some place in my heart, but Think and Grow Rich did substantial, substantial benefits and improvements to my life that I can never repay. So guys, I mean, I'm a pretty frugal guy. I don't buy too many things. Thing is though, when it comes to books, I'll spend money. I add it to my card and throw it in there before I even know it. And I highly recommend you guys checking out books because that is when my life started to change. I made a bookshelf right here, just kind of showing my books and Think and Grow Rich really revealed to me a lot of things. It, it, it talks a lot about faith, talks a lot about transmutation, and even really using that testosterone and trying to get it into uh, what you're working for. If you guys are really interested in business, if you guys are interested in entrepreneurship at all, start with these three. Um, I So guys, I started with 4 Hour Work Week and then went into Rich Dad Poor Dad and then went to Think and Grow Rich and then I'll talk in future videos about what I'm reading now. They're actually above my, my bookshelf right now, but right now I'm reading a YouTube Secrets book. I'm reading another book by Napoleon Hill that goes more in depth about this and then I'm reading another book um, which is like two pages left and that's called Escape by um, this one Indian dude, Anik Single, so right there. If you guys have not read books. There's statistically, you probably won't make it, all right? There's no other way of saying it. Statistically, millionaires, they say read two to three books, like 70% of millionaires read two to three like self-improvement books a month. You know, that, that statistic was found off entrepreneur.com and I don't know how credible that site is, but they are everywhere. I always see ads on them, so that's the information I got from them. What I'll recommend to you guys is literally taking action. Find these books and, and buy them and read them. And if you guys don't like books, do what I did and listen to audiobooks. This video was not as, you know, as, as giggity because I've just been doing some reflecting, you guys, and I've come a long way. And this channel is really about me documenting my experience. I want to be able to look back here when I'm a, a, a freaking ballin' CEO. I want to look back to my struggle days in my bedroom talking about the books I read and I, I, I wanna know exactly where I came from. So guys, make sure you take action. Do something today. Don't just sit around. Stop watching this YouTube video. Make sure you do something after this, okay, you guys? I'm gonna be making more videos regarding business, but I really appreciate you guys for sticking around. I hope that you guys took got some value out of this and I, I inspired someone or I motivated someone in the world to take action and I hope you're successful. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time and peace out. Subscribe, like, Lick booty, what?